Hey babes, hey, your girl is back with another video. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I know y'all probably like, girl, what are you over there doing? You look at a mess. Listen, I just got off of Instagram Live, honey. Had me a little quick snack. And now I am recording for YouTube, okay? Period. I might seem like I'm a little out of breath because I am. I have forgot my gloves. So I have to run and get me a pair and run back. <clears throat> and we all know I ain't in the best of health. So anyways, honey, welcome back. If you are new here, um, my name is Lavette. I am the owner of Go Lucky Charm and Truly Smooth Skin Teak. Um, I do YouTube videos on both of my companies. I am proud of both of them and I stand behind both of my brands 100%. Go Lucky Charms is basically a U.S. wholesale company um, where I resell to small businesses um, such as myself and then Truly Smooth Skin Teak is a skin slash skincare slash feminine care um, online boutique skin teak you get it um, and yeah that's pretty much it if you would like to support either of those companies or both of those companies you can uh, follow us on our IG um, the links are in the bio for both we also have the website links in the bio with coupon codes for both. So sign up for our email list. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, that's my introduction because I don't have an intro yet. Okay, that's something I'm going to be working on for 2022. Um, but if you just come here for some information, honey, then this is the place to be. If you're looking for fancy dancy, this is not the place to be. Okay, <laughs> so today I'm actually going to be turning domes let me get a real cute color that's gonna like maybe stand out purple stands out purple and pink stands out really good <clears throat> so i have these dome pieces they um don't have the backs on them you can use these for multiple things uh oh they're kind of slippery um they don't have the backs on them so i'm going to be turning a few of these into um crock gibbets um, now, someone asked me earlier on live if I can screw a hole through them. I honestly don't know. These are pieces that I've been having for a very long time. And they have been sitting there waiting on me to turn them into gibbets for me to use for my own croc customers. However, I have not been able to do crocs. Um, and even when I was, I was actually um, using other pieces. I don't know if I just kind of almost forgot about it. I don't know. But I just thought about them and I like really, really, really uh, was like, you haven't really did anything with Crocs. You don't have to make a pair of Crocs to kind of show someone how to do pieces for Crocs. Okay, babe, sorry about that. There was somebody unexpected at my door. I don't do no visitors. I don't even tell people where I live. I don't mm -mm, No. Anyway, so basically, I'm just going to be turning some of these really cute domes into uh, gibbets by adding the croc pieces in the back. Now, originally I was going to use the black ones, but then when I looked at it, I had <clears throat> two and a half bags of the clear ones and only one bag of black. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead on and use the clear. That'd be the smart thing to do. And far as glue, if you know me, you know this is one of my favorite glues besides the metal glue. So this one in the metal glue is my favorite, favorite glues of all times. First, it was the metal glue until I got my hands on this. And now this is one of my faves. And plus, I have more, <clears throat> more of these because um, I have bought like three. So anyway, I got my handy dandy gloves. I got everything I need. I'm actually going to reposition this camera so y'all can really see what's going on. If y'all have any questions, make sure y'all let me know in the description. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and subscribe before we really get off into it. And if you want to see more videos like this, y'all already know what to do. Let me know. I am thinking about doing a croc video for y'all. I know I told y'all that before, but honestly, I've just been so busy between the two companies. You have to have time and patience to sit down and do a pair of crocs. And I just don't have neither one of those right now. I don't have time on my side nor patience. So y'all, I don't know when y'all going to get a croc video. I told y'all if not by the end of this year, for sure. Um the beginning of the year somewhere after the new year so um yeah that's pretty much it i'm about to reposition this camera and we about to get on into it okay babe so hopefully this is a better look so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead on <clears throat> put on my glasses 
I mean, I sell my glasses. Oh my goodness. Put on my gloves because y'all know me. I really do not like using strong glues um, without my gloves. Actually, you should wear a mask because to be honest, it does have a strong smell. And if you're sensitive to smells, it could give you a headache. Me, I'm used to the smells. It doesn't make it right. However, like I said, I'm used to it. So I'm not going to put on a mask. However, I, I am going to protect my hands. Once again, I am using the Gorilla Super Glue Gel. It's really fast drying, which is something you would need for um, your domes. Now with this, if you wanted to, you definitely can um, add some friction because this is like, basically this is paper. <clears throat> um, this is paper, so if you want to, you can add a little friction and scrape it with the, um, um, like a fingernail file. Um, I'm not going to actually do that because it is paper. I feel like you really don't have to do that because if you know anything about domes, it's just basically a printed, um, design offline. And then they just take, uh, whatever they're using to make the plastic, um, almost glass kind of covering, um, I forgot what they used to make them, but anyway, I don't really make them. So I'm not going to get off into something I really don't know too much about. I like to keep it cute and tell y'all stuff that i know so right now we have some squares we have some circles um let me get a cute one so i can get a thumbnail we got um the squares like i said and then we have some hearts so we have the hearts and just to show y'all circle so we got three different shapes now when you go to the website um you will see these with backs and without backs so it may say domes or croc domes okay that's probably how i'm gonna do it on the website domes and croc domes which means you can use them for whatever you want if the back is not on there and oh my god somebody calling me Okay, so basically I have my domes. I have a pair of crock here, but I'm not going to actually be able to do anything with them because you have to allow your um, your gibbets to dry for at least 48 hours. At least, that's at the least. You can definitely let them dry and cure longer, but at the least 48 hours. So some of y'all be like, well, why do mine be falling off? Either you're not using the right glue or you're not letting it cure long enough. So I recommend you at least letting them dry for two days or longer, two days being the minimum. I do have my little crock pieces. I was gonna use the black like I had said earlier, but I decided to use these because I have more in stock of these and my babes need what they need when they need it, honey. And then, like I said, I got my glue. Um, so basically, I'm not gonna um, scratch anything off. I'm just gonna take my glue. <clears throat> Center it as much as I can. And as you see, I'm not using a lot. This is fast drying glue and you do not need a whole bunch. More is not always best, y'all. Then for this piece, you have a small side, which is this side, right? This is a small side. I know it's kind of hard for you to see because <clears throat> I got on gloves and the piece is clear. But this is a small side. And then if you flip it over, you have the big side. Take the big side and that's the part that you want to glue down. That's the side that's not going to fit into the crock. So you take the big side and you put it down on your piece. And you just apply a little pressure. And, oh shit. Sorry, I kind of made it slide. That wasn't its fault. Let me actually put a little more glue. And like I said, y'all got to remember this, this glue do dry fast and now it's all over my fingers. And this is why you need to wear gloves right here. This is prime example. So once I get this here, I would just put it down and let it do what it do. And I'm just grabbing random pieces because that's how I'm going to be selling them. Random. Um, I don't really do customs like that because they come to me random. So I'm selling them random. That's about how much glue I'm using. If you can see that, this is about how much glue I'm using. Then I'm going to once again... Take my piece, flip it over, grip the small side, and place 
the big side down. You can move it a little bit just to get it going. And boom. You can use these clear pieces, which we sell on the website, or you can use get these uh, gibbet pieces, which is the back pieces, whatever you want to call them, gibbets or backs. Um, you can get these on our website in clear or black. I preferably, I would have used the black, like I said, just because you can't see them once you get them in the shoe. But I'm also smart enough to know. Use what you got, sis. Okay. So as you see, it's not messy. It's on there. It's centered as much as possible. And I'm going to drop it on his stomach and I'm going to allow it to dry for two days. So pretty much that's all it really takes. It's not a lot. So this video is not going to be long. I'm going to just do a couple more with you. Like I say, you flip it over, you take the big piece, put it on the center, move it around a little bit, give it a little friction. And like I said, I would scratch the back, but because this is paper, I just feel like me scratching off the back is going to be, it's going to scratch some of the, the picture itself off because it's just paper in the back and on top is the dome which is the plastic part i think they use reason um the same stuff that they use for like the cups and like uh i think that's what it's called is it called reason uh, i forget the name of that stuff like i said i'm not a creator i don't do all of that stuff but i see a lot of people uh use this like epoxy that they put on top um to seal everything together so like i said less is best And if it look a little off why it's still wet, like that one to me just looked it just a little off. So I fixed it and put it more in the center. Once again, I'm going to drop it down. Um, these will be available on the website. Today is Wednesday and I'm actually about to edit this video and drop the video today. So I'm caught up in time. And then... Um, I'm going to release these by Friday. So I'm going to just let them dry. Make sure because I never did domes with this particular glue. Um, to, I have done it with the metal glue. And to me, I told y'all this is very similar to the metal glue. It's quick drying. It's clear. It, it does the job. Anytime I have used the Gorilla uh, Gel, not the Gorilla just glue. It's Gorilla glue, Super Glue Gel. Be specific. It has the green top. This is what you're looking for. It's almost about $5 at Walmart. You can get it online at Amazon, um, Target, wherever they sell adhesives that you can get this anywhere. It's by Gorilla Glue. So everybody pretty much carries it. Like I said, or you can use the mixed metal. It works perfectly fine. And we do have that on the website and ready to ship. Um, but like I said, this is a very easy process. I'm just going to allow mine to dry for at least two days. Um, I'm going to pick with it and play with it and stick it in and out of the shoe so that I can make sure that it's tight enough before I start selling it. So that way, if I need to go in and fix anything, I can fix that before I put it on the website. So y'all won't see this on the website and probably into the weekend. Um, if not by Monday, to be honest, because it just depends on how my end up um out the rest of my week is gonna go so this is pretty much it y'all these are so pretty they're different colors um different the three different shapes different colors i'm probably gonna make um just to get started probably be careful y'all um i'm probably gonna make about maybe maybe 50 no 24 maybe 60 I'll, I'll maybe do between 40 and 60 just because i'm gonna sell them in sets of probably um five you'll be able to get five or you'll be able to get 10 on the website and it'll be a mixture of the hearts the circles and the squares um so that's how i'll be selling them they will be random and you'll be able to get the domes as gibbets so it'll be dome gibbets on the website or it'll be just domes, which means you can use them for so many other things other than making them into to gibbets. You can uh, 
I mean, it's endless, endless what you can do with these pieces. You can add them to your headbands. You can add them to just regular hats, um, like how I did the, um, the baseball cap. You can add this directly to a baseball cap. Um, you can add these to cute things to jackets. Um, you can add them to cups. You know how everybody does the junk cups or the junk charms. These are be these would be nice for that. You can also add these to the badge reels. Um, just it's just endless. The only thing I haven't tried, which somebody brought up today, uh, was um, was I able to uh, drill a hole in them? Is I, I actually have a drill, so I'm kind of curious. I have a I have a drill right here, y'all, and we sell these on the website as well. I'm kind of curious, and maybe I'll do it off camera just in case of some shit fly in my eyes. So I'm honey, I want y'all to be able to witness that and say, yep, I was there. I saw that when she did it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm super excited to be able to do something in a crock field for y'all. It may not be what most of y'all want, but hey, these are things you can do yourself. Because it, it is going to be cheaper to get... Um, I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera, y'all. Please forgive me. Um, My phone is on the charger. So, um, it will be probably cheaper to get these in like fives or 10 without the, um, the gibbets. Cause now that I had to put my time, use the extra piece and all this, the piece costs money. My time costs money. These will be more than just buying these and doing them yourself. I kind of almost thought about putting them all up there. Um, but I know some people like to pay for convenience. So I'm trying to make sure everyone's happy. If you're going to be buying these pieces, I'll have some already made with the, um, the bags and some without the bags. So it'll be your choice. Just understand the ones with the bags will be a little bit more. Um, and that's pretty much it, babes. I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. I tried to make it not too long. And if you did, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do have two more videos coming up that I am going to be posting by this weekend. So I'm dropping a video on Saturday and Sunday. They're pre-recorded already. And basically, it's just me talking to y'all um, about some business topics. I feel like y'all know I love business. I love to talk business. So for me, it's just um, I like doing videos like that, like sit down videos. Um, where we could just talk business. Um, I'm not going to tell y'all what they are, but they're definitely relatable. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter in what business uh, you you do. You can, um, you can relate and be able to add something to the topics that we're going to be talking about. So here's the last one that I'm going to do on camera. Once again, put your piece in the middle. Oh, hold on, y'all. And that's, that's it. Like I said, if you like videos like this, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you got any more good idea videos where I can teach you how to do something, like a DIY where you can save you some coins and do it yourself, that's in the field that I'm in, let me know. If I missed any videos that I told you I was going to do because I don't have the best memory, let me know in the comments and I'll try to work on those things. Be patient with me. Like I said, I do have multiple businesses. I am only one person and I try my best to be consistent as I can over on this platform um, trying to help out multiple people in different businesses. Also, remember whatever I teach you in one business as far as the general business information, you could definitely apply it to any other business. Not a DUI, but you know, like the business conversations and stuff like that. You can apply it to any business. So thank you so much for being a part of um, Go Lucky's Charm YouTube. I appreciate all my babes. I love the support. I love y'all following me. I love the fact that y'all follow me over on my IGs and let me know how important these videos are to you and how helpful they are to you. That's why I want to keep them going by any means necessary. Like I said, if it's something I can do, let me know. If it's something I can do, I'm not going to lie to you. I only like to do what I know I can do. Even if I've never done it before, I'll at least try it once. But if it's something that's just way out the way or just like, oh, okay, that has nothing to do with me type of stuff, I'm not going to lie. I'm just not going to do it. But anyways, that's it, babes. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said so many times, I don't know why I can't ever just end my videos. Shut the hell up and get up out the way. I just never can do it. But anyways, I appreciate y'all so much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.